We do have a lot to get to. We start right now at nine with the major shift in how the city of Denver will handle the migrant crisis going forward. Uh, the mayor says instead of the $180 million the city planned to spend on migrants by making cuts to the budget, the new plan will spend half of that and will avoid tough budget cuts. And there are some immediate changes coming with this new plan. So take a look here. Instead of operating seven shelters to house people for six weeks, the city will keep only one emergency emergency shelter open with a 72 hour limit for stays. The city will also give six months of direct rent and food assistance to a limited number of asylum seekers and help them receive legal work authorization. The changes also mean that starting today, Denver rec centers are back to regular hours. And this means uh, this plan means that changes for many organizations working with migrants are coming. Yeah, Fox 31's Gabby Easterwood speaking with many of those organizations. She joins us live tonight with their reaction. New at nine, Gabby. Yeah, Erica, Talia, the main concerns that I've heard today were saying that this major change they feel is actually going to lead to more people on the streets. Migrants on edge after today's announcement. Migrants like Franklin Traviezo, who's been in Denver for 10 days. Eh, para mí, pues, for me, this news hit me um, with the feeling that they're making promises they're not going to complete. V. Reeves translating for Franklin today. They work for House Keys Action Network Denver, an organization that's been working closely with migrants. I think it's a huge step in the wrong direction. The new Asylum Seekers program will be for approximately 1,000 people, open first to those already in city shelters. If people arrive after today and there isn't space in the program, they will be placed in congregate shelter and given a max of 72 hours until they have to find a place to go, be directed to outside services, or move to a new city. Um, so if they're not part of this chosen 1,000 for a six-month um, support uh, program, then they're going to be criminalized after 72 hours, and that's a big fear that we have. That 72 hours, the main concern for these advocates, like Amy Beck with Together Denver. I am cautiously optimistic. 24 to 72 hours in shelter by this weekend just doesn't make sense to me. It's just not a logical switch, especially when we have so many people on the street right now. That concern joined by a lack of hope for the migrants themselves. Dicen que las esperanzas son las últimas que se pierden. They say that hope is the last thing that you lose. Pero en esta vez, but in this situation, um, I've lost it because I don't believe that they're going to complete this plan. Now the city says that they hope to not spend that $90 million that they have planned for, but they said they did budget for it being that much because they do plan on having an influx of migrants arrive throughout the year. Now those advocates we spoke to say though they feel it's not enough still, especially if we have an influx throughout the year. Live in Denver, Gabby Easterwood, Fox 31. All right, Gabby, thank you.